one of the best ways to create new technologies, to create new businesses, to spin them off, uh, to make sure they're successful and they create jobs, is collaboration involving government, industry uh, and researchers in the academic sector and our universities and ITs. So we've set aside a fund of 500 million euros over 10 years and we're asking uh, industry, uh, academics, uh, innovators, entrepreneurs to bid for funding for that. Disruptive technologies are going to significantly change the way we work and live. So we're going to have to embrace that change. We want to ensure that the very best stay qualified for funding. So international experts have examined closely every application and uh, we have come up with the final number and uh, the good news is this is only the start of an exciting journey. This Disruptive Technology Innovation Fund is about the state trying to create dream teams between large companies, small companies and researchers. It's really about bringing together the strength of the large companies that we have with the agility of the small companies and the deep knowledge of the researchers. So disruptive technologies, they're by their nature, they are unforeseen, unpredictable, they're things that move at pace, and they are effectively bets. And disruptive technologies come about when collaborations come together with a new idea and that sort of missing ingredient to create new forms of work so that they can invent new technologies that are disruptive and give Ireland that first mover advantage of new disruptive technologies before anybody else gets them. What's been announced today is a number of projects with the collaboration of both uh, our research centres and Enterprise Ireland. This innovation will help achieve the national strategy set out in Project Ireland 2040. And it's a great success story for Ireland. <laughs>